Hello and welcome. My name is William Bust. I'm the president of Black Star, that's Academy's premium membership, and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about what Black Star actually is and why you might want to think about joining us. So first of all, let's look at the agenda I'm going to run through. I'm going to talk a little bit about how quickly things are changing and how the uh, web has uh, affected all of our lives. And then I want to talk a little bit about uh, a book that was written by the founder of Academy, Penny Power, uh, called Know Me, Like Me, Follow Me, and just tell you a little bit about some of the principles that she talks about in that book. Then I'm going to move on and talk about Black Star and social media and how all of that works together, and then uh, very quickly talk about some next steps for you. So that's the agenda. Let's get on with it. So first of all, let's talk about change in a connected world. The internet's only been around for a few years, and yet it's changed and affected lives all over the world. Just some aspects of that change for you to think about. The top 10 in-demand jobs next year in 2010 didn't exist in 2004. So we've had to learn new skills, new techniques, new ways of working. And we expect our kids today, as they go into work, to have perhaps 14 jobs by the time they're 38. So that's 18 years of work, 14 different roles. They may not all be in different companies, but the days of working for one employer for the whole of your working life have long gone. Every month, there are 31 billion searches on Google. I wonder what we did before we could search for our knowledge on Google. And if MySpace was a country, it would be the fifth largest in the world. Five million people adopted radio after 38 years from its invention. Television took 13 years. The internet took four. iPods, just three years to get five million iPods in use around the world. And Facebook was used by two million people, uh, sorry, by five million people in just two years. So that is the pace and the rate of change. Now, as we use the social networking and business sites around the web, we start off talking to people that we don't know. We're broadcasting our message to strangers. But over time, we build friendships and start sharing conversations and small transactions start to happen as they begin to like us. And over time, over more time, we get connected to those people. They follow us. They're watching what we do. They're listening to the knowledge that we're sharing and they're engaging with us. And that connectedness brings profitable relationships as well. Business follows where friendship starts. And that's the message of know me, like me, follow me. So let's take a look at each of those steps in more detail. When we're broadcasting, when we're using the online tools to talk to strangers, we're communicating through blogs, on Twitter and YouTube, to a wide network. There is some connectedness, but we're visible and we're active and we're using the social media platforms as a random, free way of sharing knowledge. Much of what we do is free. It's done simply to raise awareness that we exist, to become known, to become liked, we have to start discussing, engaging and communicating on blogs, sharing our connections and knowledge, building a deep network where we're visible, active and using the social media platforms in a more structured way to share conversations. And at this point, we may get some small or micro payments and we may do uh, some knowledge sharing uh, collectively with others in a cooperative way. But by doing that, we become followed. We achieve true connectedness. We know people and we like them, but we can't force them to know and like us. They're following what we write. They contribute to our business through their knowledge and, and helping us, and they're advocating us with their networks. They'll start working with you on projects and buying from you at a deeper level. And there's a friend, sense of friendship and belonging. On Academy, those people may be in your spotlight. They may be a member of your own group, and they communicate, you, communicate with you in many places and in many ways. Typically, this group are people who are joining Black Star, where they find the connectedness and friendship and depth of relationship that they want. So Academy's social footprint moves people from using social media and social networking to share knowledge and collect, collect knowledge from and with strangers. 
through building and collecting people and making friends to transactional arrangements where the sharing and collecting of opportunities happens with a small group of advocates who are following each other. So let's talk a little bit about the business development that happens in Blackstar. First of all, we have regular Blackstar meetings. And let's take a look at some of those. practical approach and everything that you can, that I show you uh, over the next hour and a half you can do yourself in your business Sir, how is today? You came a long way today I, listen, I traveled over 8,000 miles to be at this meeting today so all I can say is to the black stars that live in London you need to get here the next time there's a black star meeting there's no excuse I came all the way from Naples, Alaska touring around Europe Spreading the good word about the Academy and BNI, you need to be here. It was an incredible day, tip to top, absolutely. Thank you very much. So, there's a quick flavour for what happens at Black Star meetings. And we talked in there about boardrooms, private boardrooms, at those meetings where groups of people come together to form a board for your business, where you can share in confidence the things that are challenging you and seek other people's opinion and help. We have a structured agenda to do that and it's immensely powerful. So let's take a look at the one-to-one -one meetings. Let's take a look at having presentations and support and friendship and knowledge and advice. And I want you to think for a moment in those boardrooms how that knowledge and advice can be focused on your issues through a support network that is unrivaled. And finally, if you can't get to a meeting, we have global boardroom teleconferences where the same thing can happen remotely. So, that's an overview of the business development that can happen in Blackstar, but let's take a look at the Blackstar groups themselves. Blackstar members come from all over the world, and as I've mentioned, they become your friends, the, your supporters, partners and associates. Here's just an example. There's more than 600 global members. And they're coming from South Africa, from the Netherlands, from USA, from Denmark, and the UK, and India, and Saudi Arabia. These are just a few of the people who joined recently. So that's the membership, but there's all these groups as well. Foundation life members, groups in Belgium, in Europe, professional development services, Portugal, in America, uh, at the beach, uh, helping each other with advocacy, with marketing, uh, and enjoying the social things as well. You'll see there a Blackstar Golf Society, for example. So, Blackstar's collaborating in groups, large and small, for referrals, for business development, for support, and indeed, for social fun. So, the next steps. If you're thinking about joining Blackstar and you want to give me, my name's William Bust, a telephone call, just look me up on Academy. My numbers are, are there on my profile and you can call me any time. Or visit the Black Star Club. Just click the Black Star link in the top right hand column, at the top of the right hand column, and there you'll find a call me button to uh, request a call from Thomas Power, the chairman of Academy. Thank you very much for listening, and we hope that we'll see you in Black Star very soon. Thanks again. Bye bye. <laughs>